Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to start off by giving you one and only one guess of what we are going to be doing together in this video. Yes, I really hope you got that correct because we are in fact going to be looking at the Bitcoin chart together. We're going to be going over the current trades, what we're looking at next and the expectations for the rest of this week to come. Here we are on a Monday morning. I've just finished the first 10 minutes of London Open. Didn't really get that much volatility, so I've decided to make a bit of an earlier video than normal. And here we are, uh, <laughs> off of London Open, ready to start the week as we mean to go on. And I wanna prepare you for the whole of this week. We've currently got our sideways range still. I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks as long as the trade targets. And I think you're gonna really enjoy this one. You're gonna end the video very prepared, ready. And well, <laughs> let's just get ready to make that profits together, right? So that's what you're here for. You're here to make profits in the market. And I'm gonna help you achieve that. So uh, real simply, picking up where I left off my last video, that's the best way to go about this. Uh, you know, I was making it fairly obvious. Uh, stop looking for these massive moves. You don't need the massive breakout, the massive drop. We've got a very nice sideways range to be trading here. Okay, we're going from range low to range high to range low to range high to range low to range high. And then at the time of making that last video, we were just at the CC. So of course, this isn't the overall range low, but it is a significant level within a range to be aware of. Because then, of course, if you're putting in these higher lows, this is the level that you're going to put it in at, right? So we were just hitting this CC Fibonacci level there around 27,500. And you can see here, this is the exact snapshot of where we were at, just bouncing off that CC. And of course, the level above us, well, pretty clearly in front of your eyes, was that NPOC. Okay, so we had a few things to be aware of, right? We had the CC Fibonacci retracement level, and then we had the NPOC, which is around, of course, the bigger level of the value area of the previous range. So that was our next level of resistance. We know, of course, if we can reclaim that as support, we can look for, you know, that $29,500, $30,000. But until proven otherwise, we still got our next level of resistance to be aware of above us. Okay, but as we were bouncing off of that CC, I want you to pay attention because I'm going to educate you here. As we were bouncing off of that CC Fibonacci zone, Okay, well, first of all, I made it very clear, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to, of course, be shorting at support. Uh, for me, I'm going to look for higher prices to come. You know, I'm not going to short here at support and, you know, going to remain in long trades. Why? Because we have hit support, even though, of course, we can rotate down to range low. This for me is a significant level in the range, you know. As we're hitting that level, making it very clear for me, let's look for higher here because we have just got a very nice reaction off of support. As always, as you can probably uh, expect, I will always go much more detail with inside of the group. And with inside of the champions group, I added this post. And this is what I want to share with you and, you know, expand upon so you really understand. Of course, the day prior to hitting this CC Fibonacci level, which was the 31st of March, the 30th of March, I was telling my team, you know, let's wait for this CC Fibonacci. It lines up on that value area low for nice confluence. And before we hit this, I would not hit any long trades. E.g. I'm not going to long here, not going to long here, not going to long here, not going to long here. Let's wait for the value area low on that CC Fibonacci level to get hit. OK, I'm personally not going to long before we hit this level. And then, of course, we hit the level. We got the nice reaction and it gave us the long trade. I was saying to my team, you know, anybody that longed before that, that didn't have the patience would have been stopped out and missed that long trade setup. So it just is a case of being patient, waiting for the bigger levels, checking the reaction. Once you got the reaction, you got the trade setup. Okay. And that long trade setup off the CC actually gave us the next trade setup, which was the harmonic. Uh, this obviously coming in with Fib time, Fibonacci retracements, also kind of on the Elliott waves as well, right? So we can link this all together. And it gave us that really nice reaction off of the CC, which then turns into being the B wave of the harmonic, right? And then from the B wave, we're looking back up for the C. And this would be your resistance zone where you look for the short trade, okay? So we're looking for this to come up to that NPOC value area low zone of resistance, uh, for the short trade before bringing it back down towards the daily to give us D. So this was what we were looking at on the 31st. This was Friday and yesterday in the Champions live stream, still reminding my team, well, you know, this has played out pretty well. We have X, A, B. We have come up to that CC. We have come up to that very area low once more on that NPOC. We've clearly got a wick of rejection, then a swing failure pattern. You know, 
I, I even that you know was looking at are we going to put in another high for C before down? I said no. I you know that, that wouldn't really make sense. We got to have seen the C here, and we're looking for down for the D. Of course, that's still in play right now. But the thing that we're paying attention to is here, you know, we're getting targets and ideas and training setups based off the reaction and expectations, right? I actually want to share one other thing with you before we look at what's coming next. And that is this little bit of insight. And I want to just show you something that I think you're going to find very interesting. For this, we are going to have to come down onto a lower term time frame because I want to explain this Fibonacci series of pools. So we'll come down onto the 30 minute chart. Okay, I'm just going to hide this a second and we're coming to the 30 minute chart. So before getting this rise up to the harmonic target, I want to show you this pattern that we were seeing. Okay, and it's based off of this post that I made here where we were seeing CC rejection, CC rejection, and at the time seeing a CC rejection, right? <clears throat> so this is like our Fibonacci. Of course, we bounced off of the low to high CC Fibonacci to get down to that level. What were we doing? Well, from high to low, look at this, each time, CC Fibonacci. High to low, CC Fibonacci. So we were doing this like pattern of rejecting the CC each time, and the support bounce was also from that Fibonacci level. I mean, just how powerful is this Fibonacci level? It's of course greatly powerful. You can see the reactions in front of your eyes, what it had in terms of support, what it had then in terms of resistance. And the insights that I wanna share with you here is that as we were, right at that CC Fibonacci level, just as we were hitting that, right? You know, I'm telling my team, this is in live real time, okay? Print screen, 1347. Here, 1347. 147 exactly as we're hitting it, I'm telling my team. The only thing, in my opinion, that could stop this harmonic setup being hit is this CC Fibonacci. Rejection, rejection wick above rejection, right? That's the one and only thing that can stop it coming up to our target of the harmonic here at C. And I tell my team, that's the only thing that can stop us. But this time I am not shorting this CC Fibonacci again. I want to see higher. Okay. So you now you can understand how we all are seeing the same levels. We're all seeing this pattern. And then I'm making the informed decision of this is the time I am not shorting this CC again, okay? So you can understand how everybody in the world, if you understand what we teach, everybody has the same levels. Everybody has the same levels. But then am I able to understand these levels, understand the context, understand the bigger picture, understand where we're going to next? And it's that understanding, well, that's why you're in the champions group, right? Because, well, you've got a hundred different people telling you the levels right now. Everybody wants to be this expert, but not everybody can understand the levels such as myself. And, you know, this is, I think this is why you're here at the end of the day, right? So it's this understanding of the context, knowing which ones to short, knowing which ones to hold off on, not shorting, as we're looking for the bigger targets of others. What was that bigger target? Was the harmonic? What happened next? Well, we came into the top of that harmonic, once again, a rejection of that value area low. And well, that brings us up to where we are right now. So let's come back up on the higher term time frame. Let's come over to current price action and then it's explained then what we're looking at. So I'll add back on the NPC that we have here on the chart. So we've just had uh, London open and we, we can really simply see, right? I'll just remind you once again, in case you forgot, range low, range high, range low, range high, range low, range high. And here we come into the CC. Here we come back into the value area low and here we are back down at around that CC. So... Of course, when you're up at resistance here, you don't look for longs, you look for shorts because you are at range high. And when you are back down at support, you look for longs. You don't look for shorts at support, you don't look for longs at resistance. You've got to remain patient, waiting for the best trading setups. Okay, so I'll explain a few now levels that I'm looking for next and what I would class as the, the best, right? Um, <clears throat> Before we move on, I just want to do a really quick announcement. That is, once again, that we are now going to start doing much more content on our new channel, which is called CC Pool. Uh, the next video to be released is already recorded and prepared, and it is called Bitcoin versus the Banks. We've got a few already you know, recorded videos that will be released. Uh, and yeah, so if you want to make sure you're catching up on those videos, uh, that will just be really simply CC Pool. I'll leave it in the description. I'll leave it in the comments, but make sure you're coming over to this new channel of ours called CC Pool. And this is where we're going to be uploading a lot of content into the future. So make sure you don't forget 
hit the subscribe button on that. Then you can also, after hitting subscribe, click on all. And that way you'll get notified whenever we release that video into the future. And that's is where we're gonna be uploading a lot more videos right now. So yeah, check out that CC Ball channel. Uh, the second announcement I wanna do, and this is just something to put it out there because of course a lot of people are waiting on my opinion, understand you know what I see in the market. And currently I'm seeing a lot of, uh, you know, bad news around this, so I'm just putting it out there. And that is uh, the, the bad news recently that's been coming out around BitGet, um, that you know they're locking down a lot of people's funds. And the reason I mention this is because it's not just from one person, right? There's several different people speaking about this. And so, you know, I'm just bringing it to your attention more than anything here. And uh, this is that, yeah, BitGet have like been locking down people's funds, you know, essentially, you know, this is like really bad practice, right? you know, 50, and this is also like true, like they're, they've got 50% of their funds in their own token. This is like, generally speaking, if you look historically, like a major red flag of an exchange. And, um, you know, I know from, from this, from personal experience as well, like all influencers that are promoting BitGet are only doing so because they get paid a lot of money to shill it. You know, I even had some old friends and people that I you know, let's just, yeah, I had people that I knew and old friends of mine that took the devil's bait and could succumb to the money offered by BitGet through lack of morals. So, and of course, this was kind of like a, a funny video where they've, they've actually put into the, uh, <laughs> they've put into a, a nightclub to say BitGet scams. This is just kind of funny, but um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just a little bit of a warning. You can do your own research on this, of course, and I'm just putting it out there because, you know, there are, of course, are some people that, you know, use it probably because they've been shielded. Uh, so it's just, yeah, take a little bit of care. I do know that this is a, a heavy shield exchange because they are paid a lot of money to shill it. Uh, and I know people that have took the bait. So yeah, let's just say that, kind of be careful. Uh, and with that said, that's all I wanted to mention. And now let's look at a mention, that's now look at what you're here for and what we are looking for for the rest of this week to come. So of course we currently have that harmonic still in play, right? So this harmonic is still in play. If this is to continue to play out, okay, we've obviously come up to that C zone and now we'd be looking back down for the D zone. And that is coming down at around this $27,000. Okay, so it does line up fairly nicely with the range low, not quite the range low. And this is where like for me, you can of course just be aware of these harmonics. You don't have to trade each pivot. Uh, but the, the target of this, of course, would be down at around 27,000. For me though, <clears throat> the, the simplest way that we can continue to just approach this market right now is the range that we're in. We are simply just range bound. There are a few levels of interest now. We of course, well, the CC now, I'm, I'm not longer, no longer interested in, we've already had the trade off of that. So now we would be looking back down towards this daily NPC harmonic zone. Okay, and once again, wait for the reaction. If we get a bullish reaction, then we can get a nice long trade. Just as this is a bullish reaction, right? Wick onto the level, really nice. So if we come down here and we get a nice reaction, then we can get another long trade. If we do not get a reaction, if we come down there and we just start to form like bearish divergences, again, how do we look at the order flow? How do we determine what's a reaction? How do we term determine, you know, what is the order flow? Well, we can come over and use all the templates that are provided, right? Well, these are all made for yourselves. So we can come over here, and check into the order flow. You know, we can look at here the HL candles, the time, the trade counts, and get some real lower term time frame uh, order flow. So even as a swing trader, I will be reviewing this order flow information to make informed trading decisions. Right. So we're going to be looking at all of this together, and you know, deciphering. You know, is this a good reaction? Yes or no. Simple as that. And then once we've done that, if the answer is no, then really simply we don't take that long, and we would look for lower range low down there at around 26K, right? If we lose that, we'll be looking down towards 25K. So that's like the scenarios to the downside and the levels of interest. <clears throat> and the same for myself, very similar scenario would be, you know, if we do put in these bounces off of the CC currently, right? Or if we come down for the harmonic first. Well, really simply, if we get a nice reaction, then we can look back up towards the top of the range again. It's value area low currently is resistance, 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 right? It's holding down well, but the more times we test the level, the weaker it gets, remember. So if we are to break through this value area low, what we'd wanna do is really see it flipped and hold is as support. So I'd like to see higher term time frame closes above $29,000. 
And then we can finally look towards our higher term time frame targets that we've had for a long time. First one just above us, of course, still remains at 29,500. Then we have those much bigger targets up at around $30,000 to $33,000. Okay. And it's a simple case, you know, right now we're not looking at you know, $10,000, we're not looking at $100,000. We've got a range here to be trading right now to make profits. You know, we have been making a lot of profits off of this range. It, you don't need these massive moves to make profit, right? And you are here at the end of the day to do that. You're not here for excitement, the dopamine rush. I hope that you're taking this seriously. I do believe if you watch this channel, you are taking it seriously, um, which is good. You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of euphoric people that try to play on emotions. You know, I really try and remove the emotions. I am here to, don't want to see you get wrecked. I do want to see you, you know, have success in this market. I, I truly want that. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be here every day really giving you my levels and, you know, explaining and educating you. I, I truly want you to do well. Um, and, you know, my wants of wanting you to do well is not enough for you to do well. To do well, I can give you all of the help and support you need, but you still need to put in that time and effort yourself to make this possible because trading is not easy. You know, this range, you know, I can make things seem pretty easy for you, right? Uh, but you've got to remember, I've been, you know, doing this almost 13 years now. It's a long time <laughs> doing the same thing every single day. Um, so I can make that seem pretty easy, but then I have the, the knowledge and experience required in this market. And so, yeah, trading, of course, is not this like easy arena where you can just come in and make a load of, load of money easily, right? You've got to put in time and effort. You're going to take a lot of losses. You're going to have a lot of pain, but it's this is why trading can be so fruitful into the future because it isn't this way you can just come in and make money like this. It's where you're gonna come in, you're gonna take pain, you're gonna take sufferings just as I did, okay? And then you fight through that, you build up your statistics, your journaling, each of your trades, and you're understanding more of yourself, your emotions, your psychology, and the market. And as you bind that all together and that understanding increases, well, that's where you can reach that high point of coming in and making this seem easy. You know, and it's kind of lucrative, like the amount of profits that you can make on this market. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy, right? Um, so yeah, trading is good. Just as you can make a lot of money, you can, of course, lose a lot of money. And that's why at the first, you know, those first few years, really, you probably are going to be losing money in trading. That's just the norm. And you've got to remember that is your lessons to be taking so it doesn't happen again into the future. Of course, we recommend the paper demo trade accounts for you so you're not actually taking massive monetary losses while you are learning, right? You've got to be it's best to learn slowly, educate yourself, and then once you're doing very well, move to that next step. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn from myself and the other coaches at Chart Champions, of course, we got the whole course on our website, chartchampions.com, currently still working here on the Elliott Waves series. New video today for the Elliott Waves, Fibonacci relationships and Fibonacci time with Elliott Wave. That will be released in four hours from this video currently recording. Uh, we, of course, got the speed runs. We got the glossary. We got the vault. That's where you get the cheat sheets and all of the templates that I've released and created. Uh, you got a journal, inbuilt journal on the website. Of course, if you need the deals, we've also got uh, deals. My current, of course, favorite exchange is Bybit. Um, so you've got everything that you need over on the website, chartchampions.com. So I'm going to uh, say to you there, if you want to see more from myself, the live streams every single day. Igor is also starting a live stream in 30 minutes time. So you've got a live stream coming up from Igor. That's for the contenders and the champions. That's the Monday morning daily update for the trades ahead. So it's like this video, but it's going to last longer. You get some questions and answers. You get, you know, a, a run through of Bitcoin and also the stock market, some Forex pairs. You know, so you got that live stream lined up from Igor in 30 minutes time. Uh, for the contenders and champions as well. And of course, daily live streams every single day. Um, yeah, so that's enough here. If you want to see that, chartchampions.com. Uh, done my announcements that I wanted to talk about. And uh, yeah, a reminder to come over to that CC pool channel to subscribe. I'll leave it all down in the description. Hope I've prepared you. We understand the levels. We understand we're simply in a range. Even when we break out of this range, which we are going to break out of, of course, uh, we now are aware of what we want to see. And that is acceptance above or below those key levels. And then once we break out of the range and get acceptance, that's when we can finally look for those bigger moves. I know you all want those bigger moves. They will come. But in the meantime, you know, 
let's profit off of what we have in front of us, trade the range until it breaks. When it does break, well, let's then make a load of profit on that next big volatile move together. Again, I'm happy to see it go, you know, break the range high and go high or break the range and go low. I'm, I'm happy to see either of those scenarios because at the end of the day, I am a trader and a trader puts themselves in a position with having a bullish and a bearish plan to profit on whatever happens next. Okay, it's as simple as that. If you want to see more of my updates, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. I'm going to say there, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you over in the next video. FYI, I'm probably not going to be releasing so many public videos this week, and as I still remain fully focused on the platform, we are working on some new features, and it's just taking a lot of my time at the moment. So I don't have so much time for the public videos because I'm putting everything into chartchampions.com uh, mentorship at the moment. So... I might see you this week, probably next week, I'll do my next public video. But of course, I'll be in the Discord every single day. I'm still going to do the daily live stream updates. But yeah, I'm just going to be more over on the chartchampions.com. So if you want to see me, you know where to get it. Chart Champions, see you. Thank you ever so much. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.